Chelsea are interested in his 25-year-old attacker, but his club doing all they can do to hold on to him. Can you shall lure him in? The Chelsea manager wants to sign a wide attacker for the next season, and according to 90 Minutes, Thomas Tuchel is eager to bring in Gerard Berwin. Gerard Berwin has been an exceptional player for the Hammers during the 2021 until 2022 season, scoring 12 and assisting 10 goals in 36 Premier League games, and his current deal expires in 2025. The Hammers have missed out on European football, and since the manager wants to bring the enforcements, where are rumours that Moyas is ready to sell some of his biggest stars? However, West Ham United are not willing to part ways with Jaron Berwin. Instead, the club are planning to offer him a new and improved deal in the coming months. The Blues are willing to offload Ziak, Pulisic and Timo Werner for the right prize and if all their three are leaving, then Thomas Tusha can very well use someone like Jared Bowen. Even without all these players, leaving Bowen will definitely be an upgrade because almost all the Chelsea's forwards have been underwhelming in the previous 12 months. Apart from Kai Havertz, none of the Chelsea attackers have been able to come good this season, and even Havertz saw a dip in form during the final few months. With such low-performing players, there's no way Chelsea will be able to challenge Liverpool or Manchester City next season. Based on the previous year's performance, Jared Berwin will be a very good signing and since he's an out and out wide player, Roman Lukaku will likely to get a lot more early service into the penalty area. David Moyes does need to sell some players in order to gather funds for new arrivals, but if he can sell Declan Royce, then there's no need for any other exits. Royce alone will fetch close to 130 to 150 million pounds, and that money will be enough to rebuild for at least three or four transfer windows. The exit of Jared Bowen and a few others will totally depend on Declan Royce's future because if Moyes cannot cash in on the England international, then he will have no other option but to offload a few other first-team players.